In national news, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to patronize the Bahrain Tennis Club's 50th anniversary celebration. The ceremony was attended by the deputy chairman of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, deputy president of the BOC, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, along with the Highnesses, officials, and guests. His Highness thanked His Majesty the King for the great support he gives to the youth and sports movement, including in tennis, which is one of the sports that enjoys great popularity and interest in the kingdom. He praised the history of the Bahrain Tennis Club over the past 50 years and its contributions and prominent role in promoting the sport at all levels since its establishment, noting that the establishment of the club was a pioneering step in developing tennis in Bahrain and has effectively contributed to enhancing Bahrain's position on regional and international scenes. Through a series of activities and programs organized by the club until it became a destination for all tennis enthusiasts. The ceremony honored a number of dignitaries, pioneers and founders of the Bahrain Tennis Federation, Bahrain Tennis Club and the sponsors. Dr. Abdurrahman Sadak Askar then delivered a speech praising the support of the leadership for the sports sector and the Bahrain Tennis Club as its members and efforts in developing the sport and making many achievements. The Bahrain Tennis Club's book, 50 Years of Achievements and Continuous Progress, was launched, which is a continuation of the book issued by the club in 2013, which documented in words and pictures the history of the club since its establishment in 1973. Under the patronage and in the presence of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Sixth Youth Forum of Entrepreneurship Micro Shabab was held, organized by the Future Society for Youth in coordination with the Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa Initiatives Office at the University of Bahrain. On the occasion, His Highness hailed the Youth Forum, noting that it reflects Bahrain's keenness to support Bahraini youth in entrepreneurship and innovation. He affirmed the importance of providing platforms that develop the youth skills and abilities to be future leaders, adding that the forum enhances the role of the youth in the development of society and the country's economy and is a great opportunity to explore entrepreneurship ideas and emerging projects that will drive economic growth in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khaled expressed pride in Bahraini youth, affirming that these initiatives reflect the vision of the leadership in building an innovative and creative generation. He said that such initiatives provide opportunities for Bahraini youth to communicate with experts and investments to develop their ideas and turn them into successful projects. For his part, the university's president, Dr. Fouad Lelansari, expressed pride in hosting this youth forum, noting its importance in reviewing the most prominent challenges and opportunities and enhancing the capabilities of youth in entrepreneurship. And for his part, the president of the Future Society for Shabab al-Zayani, Sabah al-Zayani, stressed the importance of the forum as a specialized platform that helps promote entrepreneurship among young people and guide graduates towards business establishments options by utilizing their skills and social networks.
His Highness Staff Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the UAE, the U Abu Dhabi Naval Base in the UAE. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Commander of the UAE Naval, Major General Staff Pilot Sheikh Saeed bin Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Nahyan, forces and senior officers of the UAE Naval Forces. The visit is part of the Bahrain UAE cooperation in the military, specifically between the Royal Bahrain Naval Force and the UAE Naval Force. His Highness affirmed the deep-rooted Bahrain-UAE relations, supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE President. During the visit, His Highness was briefed on the establishment and development of the UAE naval forces, including their capabilities, potential and level of readiness in carrying out their national tasks and duties. His Highness toured the base, where he observed various types of warships and the latest advanced naval systems in use. He also met with several ship captains and crew members. He highlighted the UAE Naval Forces combat readiness and their contributions, alongside other allies, to enhancing regional maritime navigation. His Highness emphasized the importance of joint cooperation in advancing regional development. He also concluded by expressing gratitude to the commander of the UAE Naval Forces and members of the Abu Dhabi Naval Base for the warm hospitality during His Highness' visit. The second Arab Forum for Parliamentary Media, titled Artificial Intelligence and its Role in Parliamentary Performance, Opportunities and Challenges, organized by the Arab Organization for Administrative Development at the Arab League, was launched. We have more in this report. In the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, the Information Minister, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, and several representatives and officials, the Kingdom of Bahrain hosted the second Arab Parliamentary Media Forum under the slogan Artificial Intelligence and its role in parliamentary performance, opportunities and challenges. The forum was attended by a number of representatives of Arab and regional parliaments as well as members of the Arab parliaments. The forum addresses several themes, the most important of which are raising the efficiency of parliamentary work in light of the development of artificial intelligence, as well as discussing topics related to the application of AI in parliamentary work that aims to discuss the positive aspects of AI and benefit from improving its parliamentary performance. The forum aims to highlight the role of artificial intelligence in improving the efficiency of legislative and regulatory processes by providing advanced analytical tools that help in foreseeing the social and economic impact of proposed legislation and enhancing interaction between members of parliament and the society. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa affirmed the continuation of efforts to enhance water security and protect water as an important vital resource by setting the necessary proactive treatments and creating factors to achieve sustainability for them in line with the comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty the King. Upon his presidency of the Water Resources Council meeting, he pointed out that the launch of Bahrain for National Water Strategy 21 to 30, which aims to achieve water sustainability and effective management of water resources, reflects the government's commitment to its program for 23-26 and its alignment with the Sustainable Development Goals, especially the sixth goal related to providing clean water and sanitation services. The Deputy Prime Minister had a meeting of the Water Resources of Council, which was held remotely by visual communication technology in presence of the Ministers of the Council. Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Chairman of the Permanent Technical Conservative Committee of the Water Resources Council, Yasser Homeidan, reviewed 53% progress in implementing the National Water Strategy Goals and programs, which include financial and economic, internal cooperations, growth and education, and 12 goals implemented through 40 programs. The meeting discussed Water Resources Council priorities, financial allocations for strategic initiatives, experimental pro project refilling Muharraq Reservoir, and proposed legislation legislative and administrative regulation of groundwater use in Bahrain, including the development of an underground reservoir. He praised the national cadres for their efforts in achieving strategic targets and managing Bahrain's water resources efficiently. He also emphasized their commitment to sustainable development goals until 2030, focusing on providing advanced infrastructure for economic, social 
and environmental growth and improving quality of life for citizens and residents. The Arab Voluntary Union organized the closing ceremony of the first edition of the Arab Council for Youth Award organized by the Arab Council for Youth based at the Prince Mohammed bin Fahed University in Saudi Arabia in cooperation with the Arab Voluntary Union based in Bahrain under the auspices of the Arab League. We have more in this report. Four youth businesses that are aligned with 21st century skills and target the pillars of sustainable development were honored at the closing ceremony of the Arab Council for Youth Award, which aims to promote the performance of youth businesses at the global level in order to make positive impacts on the targeted communities. The ceremony honored the best youth works that target the pillars of sustainable development, institutions and organizations that have worked to empower youth in various sectors, in addition to honoring influential figures who have made valuable contributions in various fields targeting the youth. In its first edition, the Arab Council for Youth Award aims to highlight youth initiatives and projects that provide creative solutions to solve the issues affecting the youth and overcome social challenges, thus contributing to empowering the youth to make an impact on sustainable development in various countries, as well as recognizing unique and successful development innovations by young people that can motivate others. The Minister of Social Development, Chairman of the National Committee for the Elderly, Osama al Osfour, said that Bahrain is keen to continue harnessing all means of support and care for the elderly in recognition of their social status and their vital role in the renaissance of the country. On the occasion of the International Day for Older Persons, the Minister pointed out that the Kingdom is one of the pioneering countries in forming a national committee for the elderly that includes representatives from the government, private and civil sectors to promote all services provided to this group. This reflects the national efforts in adopting the best programs and initiatives in the field of welfare and development that ensure the consolidation of social security among various segments of society. He said that the ministry continues its efforts with various sectors to enhance the social welfare services provided to the elderly, ensuring that they get the best standards of service and enhancing their presence and participation in society. The minister noted the positive impacts achieved by the parental day care institutions which are supervised by the ministry and managed by civil society institutions. He also said that the ministry has allocated an office for elderly services which with the aim of ensuring the sustainability of providing the best services for this group through the integration of efforts between government agencies and cooperation with the private sector. And now to speak more about this, we're joined by the Social Welfare Director at the Ministry of Social Development, Ibrahim Ahmed Al Fadala. Hello and welcome, Mr. Ibrahim. Can you first uh, tell us what are the most prominent services provided by the Ministry to the senior citizens? And uh, the directive of the government to seek support senior citizens by utilizing all means to enhance their quality of life. The Kingdom of Bahrain adopts comprehensive strategies. This includes the ministry update of the National strategy, strategy for Senior Citizens and its implementation plan covering all areas related to them. The Ministry of Social Development also provides a range of care, social, health, psychological and financial services, either directly or indirectly, with an integrated system of social and economic protection and care. This is achieved through community partnership with various official, non-governmental and private sectors. In addition, the ministry offers discounts and facilities, facilities in cooperation with both public and private sectors. At the end of September 2023, 53 entities from both sectors supported these services. And efforts are ongoing to increase the number of supporting entities. We would also like to clarify that the ministry is conducting research studies in collaboration with academic institutions through survey studies related to senior citizens and to find solutions to their challenges. Uh, okay, so how about the contributions of these institutions for this group? Uh, daycare institutions for senior citizens located in residential neighborhoods provide daytime care for senior citizens. There are 13 institutions across all of, of the kingdom where they host seniors mm -hmm. during the day and provide them with various educational and rehabilitation services aimed at improving their quality of life. These institutions 
serve more than 2,000 male and female members and are managed by civil society organizations. These institutions aim to provide comprehensive care, develop rehabil rehabilitation programs, and enhance their integration into society. They also offer programs and uh, service aimed to add improving the, mem the member's quality of life. Social Welfare Director at the Ministry of Social Development, Ibrahim Ahmed Al Fadala, thank you very much for joining us. Now, Startup Bahrain, the leading platform for emerging companies in Bahrain, with the support of Temkin, organized the effectiveness of the series Startup Bahrain. Let's have a look. In order to encourage more success, excellence, and creativity for the youth of Bahrain, Startup Bahrain, the leading platform for emerging companies in the Kingdom of Bahrain, with the support of Temkin, recently demonstrated its expected effectiveness in the series Startup Bahrain Pitch, in the presence of Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, in cooperation with the Ministry, the EDB, and the Bahrain Development Bank, and with the participation of seven Bahraini startups. The jury panel included a number of regional and local judges specialized in various fields with the aim of diversifying experiences and opinions in support of the participants and to encourage more honorable and creative competition for excellence and creativity. The winners expressed their joy and great ambition for further development in their emerging projects, stressing the role of Tamkeen to enable the pioneer in supporting and encouraging companies developing their work mechanisms and providing all capabilities for them to achieve their desired goals. The third Bahrain Oman Forum hosted by the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies or DERASAT focused on the theme Enhancing Labor Market Dynamics Insights from the Kingdom of Bahrain. The event aimed to extract valuable lessons from Bahrain's innovative labor market strategies. Dignitaries, including the ambassadors of both nations, attended the opening session. The executive director of Derasad, Dr. Hamad Ibrahim Al Abdullah, highlighted the significance of bilateral cooperation in further fostering economic development and sustainable growth. Bahrain's ambassador to Oman, Dr. Jum'a bin Ahmed Al Kabi, praised the historical ties and mutual goals that underpin their collaborative efforts to address labor market challenges effectively. This forum builds on the successes of previous gatherings aimed at strengthening relations between the two countries and their economic collaboration. The Airports Council International ACI has awarded Bahrain International Airport the Certificate of Accreditation for Customer Experience Excellence and the Certificate of Accreditation for Accessibility Level 1. Let's have a listen. Bahrain International Airport has earned the recognition from the Airport Council International, the ACI, for excellence in customer experience, joining 29 other Middle Eastern airports. This award reflects Bahrain International Airport commitment to further improving travel experiences both regionally and globally. The ACI Customer Experience Quality Program rates various standards, including passenger feedback and service quality, emphasizing the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders involved. Bahrain International Airport Tier 1 accessibility measures align with international best practices, showcasing initiatives like the We See Your Challenges program, which supports travelers that are visually impaired by prioritizing their movement through the airport. These accomplishments highlight Bahrain International Airport ongoing dedication to providing a high-quality, innovative travel experience made possible by the effort of the Bahrain Airport Company team and its partners. Recent statistics of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau revealed that the value of real estate trading since the beginning of this year until September 30th reached more than 816 million dinars with 19,149 transactions. August had the highest percentage of trading since 24 until now, where the number of transactions reached 2,882, while the trading value during August reached 80 million dinars. September witnessed a drop in real estate trading and a number of transactions as the value of real estate trading reached 74 million dinars with 2,391 transactions.